What's up everyone? My name is Teresa. Welcome to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today we are doing a home decor haul specifically for my bedroom. As you can see in the background, there is obviously not much going on in here. It is in serious need of some TLC. So I'm very excited to give a little mini glow up to this bedroom. We moved into this, into our current apartment about six to seven months ago. And as you can see, we have not done anything in here. It is a little bit embarrassing to say, but up until last week, we were sleeping on a mattress on the floor. We wanted to get something sooner, but I was looking for an upholstered bed. I couldn't find anything that I liked in our price range. We're trying to keep it as cost effective as possible. And so when I saw this bed frame actually on Amazon, I thought that it ticked off a lot of boxes. And when we built it this past weekend, having an actual bed in our bedroom just made such a difference. We are loving it so much, but it has also inspired me to finish up this room. So I'm very excited to start this little bedroom makeover series with you guys. Uh, the first part is obviously going to be a haul. This is not everything that we need. It's just a few pieces that I've been able to find so far. I'm going to be following this up with a second haul with the rest of the items because we still need some things here and there. We need like a TV unit for our TV. We need some bedroom lamps, obviously some sort of art or pictures or something above our bed to add some more interest. So let's go ahead and kick it off with this haul. If you are interested in following this journey, please subscribe, come join the fun, and let's go ahead and get into it. As I mentioned in the intro, we picked up a bed frame from Amazon. I've never bought anything like this from Amazon. Usually it's just like smaller things here and there that I need, but I just popped on there because I wasn't finding anything that I liked. We were looking for an upholstered bed with storage, but I couldn't find anything in our price range. And when I saw this on Amazon, I thought it looked really good. There were some customer pictures and I was really impressed by what I saw. So I decided to pick this up because one thing that we did want is if the bed was not going to have storage built in, then we wanted it to sit a little bit higher so that we could put in some storage at the bottom. Uh, we bought just like some Ikea storage kind of bins that we just have slid underneath. When you live in an apartment, you know the struggle of having enough storage. So that is definitely a very important thing that we needed. And it is just a simple pine wood bed frame, but I love the look of it. And it was incredibly easy to assemble. My husband and I, we don't build furniture together really well. Um, it always ends up in some sort of fight, but this was super easy. I think it only took us an hour and um, so far pretty comfortable. I will say one thing that does bother me about this is that it does creak when you move, but we had a metal bed frame before this and I absolutely hated that because that creaked so much and this compared to the metal bed frame is no problem at all so we are super happy with this purchase especially for the price that we paid for it. The next thing from Amazon that we picked up really not that exciting of an item, but we were in need of some sort of bookshelf for all of the books that we have. We could have picked up an actual bookshelf, but I didn't want like to add another big bulky piece of furniture in our room because I didn't want it to overwhelm the space. So I saw these again, super affordable because that is what we are trying to do here and nice and compact so they don't overwhelm the space at all. And it is definitely enough space for the books that we have. So I'm really happy with this, it is just a cheap item, honestly, probably won't last us very long, but it totally works for us for now. Now moving on to the items that I picked up from Ikea. I feel like with my age, I've outgrown it a little bit, but I will say that it is always a fun shopping experience. I love making a day out of it and just walking through the entire store and seeing what they have. So anyways, we have a serious situation with our sheets. We do not have any matching bed sheets. Honestly, that was never really like a big concern of ours. You know, when you're young and you're buying stuff, you're just buying cheap stuff. You don't really care about your home as much as you do when you get older. And now that I am older, I am wanting to get some nicer sheets, at least something that matches and looks good. I do want to keep it pretty neutral. So the primary item that I was looking forward to picking up at Ikea was bed sheets. The first set of sheets that we picked up are these 
bird palm. Uh, as we all know, Ikea has pretty interesting named <laughs> items. Uh, so forgive me if I just completely butcher these, but this is the bird palm and it is a queen sheet. It comes with a full queen, or sorry, a queen bed sheet and then two pillowcases. Like I said, I'm doing a super neutral. So this is just like a white and gray, really thinly striped sheet. I like that the stripe adds a little bit of interest. And like I said, everything that I'm going to be picking up is super affordable. So these sheets were only $24.99, which I think is a great deal for everything that you get. The second pair of sheets are just this really pretty like beige tan color. These are the Davala. Again, it comes with, oh, it looks like it comes with a fitted sheet, a regular sheet and two pillowcases and the price for these were $19.99. So again, a really, really great deal. The next item that I picked up, I feel like I always walk away with some sort of decor item from Ikea. It's just this really cute little kind of like rippled glass vase. And this was only $1.49. It is a little bit on the smaller side, but still like a really good pr price for $1.49. And I just plan on having this on my bedside table. This is my husband's bedside table and um, he can do what he wants on his side, but I obviously want mine to be a little bit aesthetic. So I picked up this vase for the side. Right now I just have like this kind of wheat. I don't know what you call this. It looks like wheat. Um, sitting in here, but um, I'm planning on adding maybe some greenery or doing some fresh flowers in them whenever I can. So we'll see, but this is just going on my bedside table. And then the next couple of items I did not buy for the bedroom, but I thought I would share anyways. We got this really cheap little plastic bottle because we have a couple of plants and usually I just take all the plants and bring them to the sink and water them that way but I thought this will be a lot easier to water them versus my current routine and then this is a little bit of a silly item but I just picked up a apron an apron because um I bake a little bit and I am definitely a very messy cook so this will certainly save some of my clothes whenever I'm baking so uh, not that exciting of a haul, but that is what I picked up from Ikea. Like I mentioned, I was mostly going there for some bed sheets and I did walk away with some great options. I was also looking for some lamps, but I didn't see anything at Ikea that I like. So I'm just gonna have to try someplace else. Now I did not pick up very many items from Target either, but everything that I did get, I love, I honestly just love the Studio McGee and the Hearth and Hand line there. It's a great way to pick up some items that are on trend and in style, but still at an affordable price. So I'm really, really loving those lines. The first item is actually behind me. It is this large lumbar pillow. I love this. It is super neutral. It is neutral as i mentioned that is the sort of vibe that i'm going for with my bed styling and it is just like it's gray but almost looks like a dark navy as well in this like thin stripe it's got a little bit of a fraying on the sides i feel like it just looks really cute and it's got like you know vintage vibes to it it's um very soft as you can see it's got some nice give to it looks a little bit worn in uh, i don't think we'll actually be sleeping on it since it's meant to be just a decorative item but it is very soft and the price for that pillow was 29.99 so a little bit more of a pricier item just based on like what you're getting since it is just a decorative piece there's not really no function to it but um i think it looks great for the price that i got it so the next item was actually meant for my living room, but it's a little bit too small. So I think I'm gonna move it here into the bedroom. Uh, I think what I'll do with it is plan on putting some sort of plant on it. I really wanna find an affordable olive tree or olive plant. I don't need an entire tree since I'm gonna be putting it on top of this stool. Um, so hopefully I get lucky and can find something that looks good out there. All right, so it is just like this light oak kind of like a light oak stool. And again, this is from the Hearth and Hand line and it was only $70, which is a great price for a piece of furniture. And like I said, I think I'm just gonna have it in my corner here and hopefully pop some sort of plant um, on top of it. 
And then the final item from Target, my husband was in desperate need of a new comforter. Honestly, the comforter that he's using right now, he's had since before our relationship and we've been together for almost 10 years. So it's definitely time. And again, this is from the Hearth and Hand line and it is this 100% cotton quilt. Again, super neutral. It has, it looks very similar to the Ikea bed sheets that I got. It's just, I think the, yeah, this, the stripes are a little bit smaller on this, but it's kind of like an off-white and again, gray or either like dark navy stripes on it. And it's pretty soft. I would say it's not the like softest thing ever, but I feel like maybe with washes and kind of like using it more and more, it might get a little bit more softer, a little bit more lived in and then be a lot more comfortable. But um, it passed my husband's test. So excited to add this to my new bed styling as well. All right, so that was the haul. I know that it was not the most exciting haul ever, but uh, it was just a few pieces to get this bedroom makeover started. I am going to be doing a sort of series. So the second video will be the rest of my haul. I'm looking at some bedroom lamps, at some artwork, just a lot more exciting things. So you definitely don't wanna miss that. And then the third video will be me kind of finishing up this room and revealing the after of it all. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to follow this whole journey and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.